Give me some tips. Colony is burning. Yeah, have less oxygen. You want, what is it, like 18% is Earth's oxygen level? Somewhere around there. And if it goes above 20, it's, you know, that's when you get, like, a lot of mass forest fires and stuff, right? Which is, like, a self, self-regulating self system. You get too much oxygen, things light on fire, which burns oxygen and generates CO2 instead. 21? Is 21 what we've got? Okay. 21-ish. Because I remember playing Sim Earth way back in the day, and that was one of the things you had to worry about. If you ended up with too much oxygen. Sim Earth is a great game. I mean, it wasn't a good game, but it was a great game. You know what I'm saying? There was, there's a few games we have like that. They're not good, but they're great. It's like what I keep saying about the Star Wars movies. The Star Wars movies aren't good, but they sure are great. You know? There's a very confused chocolate shop receptionist who wants to know why no one is sending a box to someone named Quill18. <laughs> ah, oh. The no one just makes me think of uh, in Game of Thrones stuff, right? The girl is no one or whatever. God, remember when Game of Thrones was good? Uh, I still play Sim Earth once in a while. Nice. I really like Sim Life, which was even like less well executed than Sim Earth. But I love the concept of it. You know, a little sort of genetic manipulation. It's like, it was, it was, it sort of scratched that spore itch, but you know, 20 years before spore was even a thing. Oh, I love Simcopter. Simcopter was great. I love the fact you can make cities, was it, was it SimCity 2000, right? And there was Simcopter, and, and what was the, um, there's a car one. Is it called Sim Car or Sim Race or, or something like that? But you could, like, you could fly around or drive around the cities you made yourself in SimCity 2000. Which was crazy cool. It's weird there's a sort of double line system here. Oh, because when you zoom out, it's got the yellow abstracted line. When you zoom in, it's got a different one. And there's one zoom level where both are visible. Literally just one zoom level here where both lines are visible. Oh, it's a SimCity 4. SimCity 4. Well, no, SimCity 4 had a driving mechanic where you could take over a car in, within SimCity and drive it around. But what I'm talking about is you were basically exporting your city into completely separate games. Streets of SimCity, there you go. And it was like just a regular, like it was a car racing game kind of thing. Um, but in addition to their, their pre-existing maps, you could just load in your own constructed city. And I've never seen anything like that since then. I so hope for a second city skyline. Me too. Have you noticed, like, um, the the studio has been very quiet? What are they doing over there in Finland? It's been very, very, very quiet over there. And to me, I mean, I suppose they might not be working on city skylines too. They might be working on... Um, what was their, um, what was their transportation? Cities in Motion. Maybe they're working on Cities in Motion 3. However, if they like, say, money, what they're probably doing is working on um, City Skylines 2. Finland probably drinking. Well, I mean, you know, maybe. U5, well, that's a different studio, right? That would be, um, what's their, what's their studio? Uh, is it called Tinto? Right, Johan, they've moved down to Spain. Is he in Barcelona? I can't remember. But uh, that's where uh, that's where a lot of the EU people are. Or at least at this point, that's where a lot of the EU4 like sort of uh, patches and DLC is being done now. But yeah, Colossal Order is in Finland, and they're not um, they're not a studio of Paradox, right? Like Paradox is a bunch of internal studios. I think Colossal Order is still technically independent. They just published through Paradox, but I think there's a lot of interconnection over there. I don't remember if Paradox bought Colossal Order. I don't think so. But, <laughs> by the way, when your pre-stream started, I was under the impression that you would play Vampire the Masquerade. So the music I was playing really reminded me of it. Yeah, well, that was um, that was a cyberpunk uh, soundtrack. So, I mean, and it's very, yeah, that sort of club kind of industrial music. So it totally makes sense that it would give you that kind of vibe. There's a lot about, um, there's a lot about cyberpunk that just makes me, like, really itchy for some bloodlines. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we, I mean, I do feel like we have to do a, a full playthrough of the original uh, Vampire Bloodlines before Bloodlines 2 comes out. I really do feel like that's a thing that we'll need. Okay, how's our resources? 
because we're, we're only, well, let's say we're only running on, on a slower speed. No, speed eight. I mean, it's not the fastest, but it's pretty good. Got a biodome set up over here. Um, we don't need to build any more domes for anything. Temperature's gone up a little bit again because it was minus 1.8 for a sec. Uh, we have launched another space mirror. We've done the three of 15 launches. So I'm betting the temp, yeah, now we're at 1.4. The temp will continue to rise a little bit. Getting more, uh, more of the permafrost will, will melt. And I mean, it's still icy right now, although there's probably liquid water under this ice. What's your current Atmos comp? Oh, um. Oh, I guess over here. Um, we've got, uh, so, so total pressure is 340 millibars. Uh, so it's about one third of the air pressure of Earth, which would be about a thousand millibars. Um, and we are at 3% oxygen, which is, you know, far, far, far too low. But the oxygen is rising because of a few things we have built. We nearly have our Deimos collision tech done. That'll be another project. We actually were building another uh, launch pad, another spaceport over here. Um, it's interesting, it's just waiting for some steel to be delivered. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna high priority this so the steel gets delivered because we'll probably use this launch pad to run our Deimos down. Do you realize your spread on Mars is like how fungi and other organisms spread out for food in general? Yes, I know, right? There's really cool videos of like a Petri dish and they like have little, little fungus or something started and then they put little food patches and then do a time lapse of it like putting out these sort of like growth tendrils and these sorts of patterns to look for food. And when it hits it, you get another bloom explosion over there. Uh, oh yes, this Hyperloop is finished. Thank you very much, which means we can connect it. So we'll connect it there. And the reason I built it here is so I could also connect it over here, which isn't as required, but should still help. I mean, it would have been nice to have the Hyperloop maybe a little closer to this area, but we might, I mean, we might be just building just as much over here as there, so I think it's going to be fine. Plus, we could just do a highway upgrade for some of this as well, so it'll be okay. <laughs> Wouldn't ice melt earlier in low-pressure atmosphere? You're right, because it could sublimate a little easier in low atmospheric pressure. We have another round of attacks, so we have not been assaulted for some time, right? Ever since we wiped out the base to the north. But the children of Carmine did messages again, and it turned. It seems like they have another base set up, so they're going to be coming at us from another angle. Um, what we're going to do, and we don't have much in the way of defensive structures down here at all, right? Most of our defensive structures were up in the north. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, command my drones to go and defend over here, and then what we're also going to do is we're going to set up a bunch more drone hives. make all these drone hives high priority so that they get built as quickly as possible so we have automated laser defense on this angle because that's probably where the eight attacks are going to be coming from but we have dispatched our um our drone group that's 800 drones over here ready to go out so we have dispatched them to try to intercept we might lose a little bit before they do that but yeah Hopefully they buy us enough time so that we can get our drone towers up. We'll probably have to do some repairing because I bet you they're going to blow up some things. It's possible they're going to come through the south and hit over here too, but I'll probably wait before I issue some construction commands over there. You can be scrapped. At least it's not a, um, a map-wide fritz of all our buildings. The attack we can deal with may probably a little bit easier than them just blowing up everything across our entire base. Um, uh, you're 10%, yeah, you need to... Let me get this built so that that gets maintenance over there. I mean, yeah, we've got a fair number of things at the high priority, but, I mean, there's construction happening all over the place. Like, it's so spread out. The fact that we, we set a higher priority over here probably won't expect, um, affect the construction over on this end, for example. Okay, let's bring up the speed. Temp's almost there. Yeah, that last um, solar mirror seems to have done it. What we might do is we might consider canceling 
Let me cancel the next solar mirror job. Um, I would like to start on the space elevator. It needs a lot of carbon. We don't actually have an infinite amount of carbon stored up. We need 12 launches to get the space elevator. Well, I, I don't know if we need all 12 for the space elevator to work or just keeps leveling up. I'll just wait for now, because we do actually have a lot of construction projects going on. So let's not occupy, let's not use up resources and also drone time. Where's my, uh, where are my attack drones? Right here, okay. Oh, I wonder where they're going. They're going up here, which is interesting. But yeah, we still have the interception. I'm happy they didn't stop to blow up anything over here, because they would have been able to blow up a few structures before we intercepted them. But the fact that they're going up here, we should be okay. Collide one of Mars's moons with the surface to release a massive amount of kinetic energy. That's going to hot up the world a lot. And 100% we have to do this because why would we not want to just crash the freaking moon into Mars? I mean, come on. Is there a second group that we can see? I go to uh, combat mode. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, no, that's... No, that's transportation. It doesn't actually highlight them. There must be more, though. Because the numbers are there. This is only half of the numbers. Where's the second group? Bit left. Southwest? No. Nope. Not that far. It's not this. These are... This is steel. Um... <coughs> Right over here. There we go. Um, I don't really have another hive with a large number. Oh, that might be a hundred over here. Come on, select. How come I can't select you? Are you telling me I can't select them when I'm in military mode? Hello. There we go. Maybe I was clicking on the hive rather than the drones? I'm trying to click on the number. I don't know. The colonies are being attacked again. The enemy drones, they have returned. I need to focus. What should my priority be? Uh, my priority is to attack the source. We've learned that that's the only way that they'll stop. We have to eliminate them at the source. I need to fight them at the source. The sooner I shut their base down, the sooner this attack will end. I must go into battle. Oh wow, our weapons are really good. But what strategy should I follow? Nuke the site from over. Um, retaliate immediately, assess the enemy. I mean, I would love to retaliate immediately, but they're in a locked area. But I don't know what kind of assessment we possibly need to do. Right? Like, what do we need to assess? They're bad and they should be stopped. Drop the moon on them. Now that would be cool. I don't know if we get to target it. People want to assess. All right, we'll say that. I need to assess the enemy force. Once I figure out the size of their army and their resource supply chains, I can strike back and end this. What should I do to end this? Nuke the site from orbit. Fight head on, seek weak spot. No, the weak spots are good. That's actually the approach we took last time. I should locate We tried to dismantle spot their base in a strategic and way. And take them out properly. The damage to the colonies seems to be severe. I must decide what to do. It's actually not that severe. We, we did a pretty good job defending it. Mostly because you guys spotted the second group. Otherwise, that thing would have ripped up a lot of shit. Now, once, once we get our, our defensive towers up, we'll be better off. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Valentine! Amy? Amy! Has she changed her look? Can you hear me? I swear she used to have longer hair. This is Sona. Sona? I copy Sona. It is unusual to hear from you. Is she the daughter of the what first happened? Valentine? My mom. It is the daughter of the first Valentine. Also, we just hit Terraformer 3, the achievement. Increase oxygen levels. Congratulations. Planet temperatures reach 0 Celsius, and the level of oxygen is at least 1 millibar. Conditions are ripe for stage 4. Allow the presence of more sophisticated life forms by increasing O2 to 120 millibars. He was trying to protect the colonies. Wait, did the old she Valentine die? and they... They killed her. 
Who? The children of Carmine did this. We have to avenge her death. ISA will not authorize it. I don't care what ISA thinks. Neither. We've been attacked more than once. Yep. My mother died. How much longer are we letting this she go She was like on? the only other cool person. You've got to go after the children of Carmine and make them pay. I have been ordered not to. They killed her. I thought you were friends. I am sorry, Sana. I understand your frustration. But Elia would not have defied ISA's orders for vengeance. And you should not either. Stop. Just stop. We both know that's not true. Your adrenaline levels are spiking. I advise you to get some rest and reconsider. As, as some people pointed out during our cyberpunk uh, playthrough, just telling someone to calm down rarely causes them to calm down. Your job is to guarantee our safety, isn't it? I we got hit by a rock over here. Well, none of us are safe here while the children of Carmine live. Look, you can tell ISA that I forced you to do it, okay? I cannot attack without cause. Fine. Don't we How have about we take a little look for their base, huh? You don't even have to do anything. Let's just find them. I know the codes. I'll unlock the zone for you. Sweet. Okay. Please, Amy. Yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, Lieutenant Dickface. Amy, this is Houston. Lieutenant Calderon speaking. Do you copy? I copy, Houston. Beyond the recent events, you have an assignment to complete. We want you to focus on the mission from now on. I need you to confirm that oxygen levels are above one millibar. Confirmed, Lieutenant. Then we've reached the Ecopoiesis phase. Terraforming stage three completion is confirmed. Roger. It's time to introduce life forms that can convert CO2 into oxygen. Um, all right. Am I a go to introduce bioengineered organisms into the atmosphere when ready? Affirmative. Start with basic plants, and once those take root, move on to advanced vegetation and sea life. Then finally, animals. Begin with smaller critters and size up from there. You oh, must sounds slowly so easy introduce it. plants into the planet, and have the plants grow and convert the CO2 into O2. Biodomes will help boost oxygen levels, and make sure you're spreading the organisms across the entire planet. We'll be following your progress closely. Houston out. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. This guy. It's whiskey and chocolate. Hey, name Moose. Clues are there. Carmine is one where mines for cars. So Carmine is clearly the remain of that Tesla Roadster and its self-driving AI became sentient and became rogue. Oh my God. It was Elon Musk all along. There's a solar, solar farm's gotta be rebuilt. So we did lose a couple of things. We're still losing this area. It's okay. So yeah, O2's got to climb. The thing is, I think we're mostly, we are generating a little bit of O2. We could probably increase the production a little bit more. But it's getting there. This area is still slowly building itself up here. I mean, at some point it'll get flooded. But we're going to try to get as many resources out as we can. Um, okay. So, time to drop a moon on this planet. Crash Deimos into the planet and release a massive, uh, massive kinetic energy. It actually doesn't take that many minerals, or resources. It takes 30 uranium, which is a fair bit, but we've got tons of it. 100% we're going to add that in. We're also going to work on unlocking Sector 10, which is where some of this attack is coming from. So there we go. So we have four projects. We still are doubling up on the colonist migration, which is about what we need to at least maintain what we've got. Maybe a slow growth. Oh good, we've got scanning happening here now. Uh, wrong button, number four. Oh wait, no, that's the hyperloop. The scan's not the build yet. Okay. Bum bum bum. Sector ten, you mean sector two? We're unlocking sector ten. And SA ten is where the attack is coming from. Roughly. Am I confused? I don't mean Sector 2. Oh, it's a binary joke. 
Sector 1 0. Ah, uh huh. one here as well. It's actually good to like pan around on this fairly high level because you keep seeing these these blacked out sites. Uh, you don't have power which is why you're not operating. I mean this is still an area that's just going to go away at some point but I guess this will last for a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and up the priority on that. So it gets built and those things come back into effect. And no maintenance going on around here. Because I mean this is scrap that because it was being powered there um maybe i'll put down another maintenance center in this area for now it's still slowly being built up over here which is gonna have to be fine enough uh ooh, that is an aluminum mine which is dead and can be removed uh what is this some silicon Should probably mine that in the flood zone, but uh, this is not going to be flooded for some time, so that's definitely going to be nice. Yeah, I can't pop this yet. We're still working our way here. We're nearly there, though. This mysterious outpost. Mm -hmm. If I were to describe this game in a sentence or a few for Civ and Solaris fan, is it good? Well, I quite like it. I think it's, it's going to resonate a lot to people who might like stuff like Surviving Mars, for example. Or a little bit like city builders and stuff like that. City builders and base builders. But I think it's smashing. I'm very curious about the story. You finding that raw materials just stop moving where they're supposed to in the mid game? Um, no. I mean, you have to use the uh, the priority system a fair bit. Um, we did have a little bit of an issue. The getting the hyper loops helped. Um, but also uh. Just messing a little bit with the priority system helped to encourage things to go where we need them to go. So contrary to popular belief, water on Mars is abundant, but it's also required for many things, from human consumption and personal hygiene to cultivation and rocket propellant. There was a long period when its extraction was very expensive, and past missions had to rationalize it. Ration it? This plant still uses the old condensation method. Oh yeah, this is so yeah, this is one of the places we uh, we popped a research outpost on top of it. It could several, take several weeks to connect enough water for the crew to bathe, so the ventilation systems were among the most efficient at the time. Very relieved that we've since solved that problem. <laughs> All right, spaceport is up. Actually, I'm going to keep the uh, priority on it so that our our space missions get done in a reasonable amount of time. That's going to be okay. We can go deprioritize that while this continues to slowly expand in this direction. <laughs> We're going to make weapons out of sock and coins to defend ourselves with. Yeah, just beat people that way. Alright, I'm going to updo the research outpost here. Getting the steel to move around still tends to be the biggest thing, especially when we're building these hyperloops, because these guys want a bunch of steel to complete. And you know what? I should maybe... Let's prioritize this, the hyperloops, because I'm realizing the steel is being sent elsewhere, whereas if we can prioritize getting the hyperloop connections built, then it'll be that much faster to move everything else afterwards. So it'd be a pretty big win. Uh, we've got a bunch of buildings without power, and I suspect, yeah, it's a bunch of stuff over here. Which, this area is just being consumed by water, so not really a big deal. Oh, we're back below freezing again. We are launching... Uh, I guess we did put a pause in the Space Mirror thing, but Crash Deimos is supposed to increase the temp, so we'll just let that go and see where it what it does for us. <laughs> and we'll be able to expand here when we unlock the next sector. And we have a bunch of fungus. You can see, like, this, this area is being fungused up. Actually, we, pro we might want to put some more fungusy things over here. Yeah, there you go. Convert CO2 into O2 may also spawn natural lichen and forest. I'm liking that idea. Let's put one, uh, say, over here. I 
bring democracy to Mars? No, I think we'll keep it as a uh, AI-driven uh, dictatorship. I think I like that solution the best. I like Quill Streams because he's such a fun guy. Ah! I don't think we'll ever not make a joke when, when the idea of fungus comes up. I think it it's just required by law that some comment be made. All right, these things have been built, which is good because we needed to maintain this area. That was very important. Um, we are going to need, actually, to get this worker hub up soon. See, it just needs steel. It keeps being the... Uh, the thing we're mostly just waiting for all that steel to get delivered and how's our iron see we actually have very few iron reserves now a lot of our